Okay. Hi guys. So I got my first package from the Five Sauce merch store today. So we're going to be unboxing this. But I do have a little bit of a story time before we get into it. So as you guys know, I've been waiting on my 5 Seconds of Summer Calm vinyl variants to come in. So far I've gotten the standard black and the Target pressing. I pre-ordered the Urban Outfitters pressing, but it is not shipping until April 17th according to their website. I ordered the 5 Seconds of Summer exclusive merch store variant as well. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably seen that several people have gotten this vinyl. Mine, uh, I got an email on March 25th that it had shipped and I kept checking the tracking number and it just said that there was a label created and that the post office was awaiting for the package to arrive. So I thought, okay, maybe they just didn't scan it or okay, you know, it's a Friday, maybe they're gonna wait till Monday sort of thing. I waited until the 31st of March. So it was six days after I got that email and I had sent them an email that said my package hasn't moved. The tracking just says that there's a label created. I don't know if it's lost, if it didn't actually get shipped or what's going on. Therefore, I got several automated responses that said I had to wait two weeks and some said I had to wait three weeks from the original ship date before I could file like a lost item uh, form or something but their website lists two weeks so tomorrow is actually going to be two weeks so today I sent out a very long detailed email because on April 3rd I got a text message from the five sauce merch store that my order had shipped and the only order, because I've placed several orders, that I asked for this to be done on was the vinyl because it wasn't moving. So I figured maybe if I did the text updates, it would tell me if it was delivered and I just never got the shipping right. And it was a different tracking number. And the text message says UPS, but when I click the tracking number, it takes me to USPS. And again, that one also says label created uh, post office awaiting item and it says that the label was created on April 3rd. So I don't know why there's two tracking numbers for the same order and why they both just say label created. Um, I've had people in nearby towns in Pennsylvania already get theirs. I've had people in Columbus already get theirs and I don't understand what's going on with mine and customer service hasn't gone back to me yet so we're gonna wait it out but hopefully I still get it. In the meantime, um, my good, good friend from Pennsylvania, his name is Brett, got his and he's getting a signed one as well so he was debating on selling this one or keeping it, not really knowing what to do. So we had gone back and forth for a few days about trading or if I could just buy it from him so I could get it sooner to film my video with you guys and do it with the customer service later. We kind of settled on a trade. So now basically I'm sending him like a goodie box like just because of this chaos and because he's a really, really good friend of mine. And he's gonna let me borrow the vinyl to film the video and hopefully I still get mine. And if I never get mine, then we'll figure out if I get to keep that or if I send it back to him or how that's going to work. I haven't gotten that far yet, but so far I'm getting it from him to at least have on hand for the video if I never get my other one in time or if I never get mine at all. So thank you, Brett. <laughs> You're a real one. I'll list his Twitter down below. You guys need to go ahead and follow him and tell him thank you for helping me out with my YouTube channel because ah, I've never had so many issues with customer service until I started ordering vinyls from, until I started ordering vinyl from merch stores because it's all a mess and I don't understand why mine shipped two weeks ago but there's no tracking number like information and now I have two tracking numbers that both say the same thing from different dates I I don't know what's going on this one um, I had ordered got an email that it shipped three days after I ordered it and I got it in the mail three days after the shipping email like three business days in a weekend, so five days after I got the email. So 
I don't know again what's going on with the vinyl situation. This one was shipped UPS, not USPS, and I got it very quickly. And it was shipped from the same warehouse, so your guess is as good as mine, guys. I really don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. Uh, I'm super excited. So. I don't know if you guys can tell what it is. You'll know by the title, but... It's my cassettes! Oh my gosh! And they wrapped them in bubble a little bit. I mean, hopefully they're not cracked. My god, these are stunning! Oh my god, look at these colors. Holy crap. Okay. None of them are cracked. Okay, perfect. All right. So, unfortunately, the U.S. merch store only got the non-signed ones, so there's no option to ever get signed cassettes. Um, I think that was limited to the U.K. and Australian merch stores, so we did not get one. So these are just, like, original, not signed at all. And I'm super excited. So this is what they look like, and when you put them together, it spells calm with their initials for their covers. Love that, by the way. So the first one we obviously have is Callum here, and his is blue to match when he had the blue hair. And we'll do close-ups and everything of these, but they're like a transparent... Um blue and they're really really pretty and I love it I love it so we have Callum's which will probably stay in the package because Callum is my favorite so I want to preserve his so I probably won't actually open his I'm not sure yet because again these aren't the signed ones so next up we have Ashton letter A and his is kind of like a peachy red um, it looks really red on camera and again, it's like the transparent like see-through and his has the A on the side obviously So really excited about that one and then we have Luke's here and his is a very highlighter orange Transparent like very 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 orange. You can't miss it and his has the L on the side and then lastly, we have Michael, and his is probably my favorite color wave. It is a, like, transparent, very neon highlighter green, and it just almost looks like a glow-in-the-dark. It reminds me of the Billie Eilish cassette that came out. I don't have that one, but very similar, and it's just so, so cool. I love the bright colors on it. And this is his cover. So the covers are the same as the picture discs that they released and the single CDs that are signed that they released. Keep sticking with these photos, which I absolutely love. I think that these are amazing. And they look really, really pretty. So I do have a few cassettes. Um, tomorrow you guys are actually going to see my entire cassette collection as of now. And I have an order from Urban Out fitters here that has some cassettes in it so I will be unboxing that tomorrow if you guys want to go ahead and check that out they are beautiful we love them uh, I can't wait to listen to one of these this is gonna be a different experience I'm super excited I'm super excited for these and then I got them so quickly bless up thank you um, if you guys are having any similar issues with the shipping from the merch store, can you please comment it down below? Relieve my anxiety a little bit because nothing stresses me out than losing an online order, especially vinyl for some reason. Let me know. I had some other people say they had issues with the shipping, but now they've got in there, so I, I don't know what's going on. But again, thank you to Brett for sending yours out for me to either temporarily borrow or potentially keep down the road. We'll work that out when the time comes, but I will take good care of it and not actually spin it in the meantime while that's up in the air and get you guys happy and taken care of because it stresses me out when I promise you guys stuff and then I can't get it done. 
So thank you, Five Sauce, for your time. Thank you for your anxiety, and um, I love y'all. I spent so much of my so much money on these guys in the past month. It is ridiculous. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys picked up the cassettes as well, let me know down below. Or if you picked up one of them, which one did you pick up? Or what your favorite color is. Again, mine is definitely Michael's. I love this green. And I love that they made each one a different color as well with the variant. And that they all spell the word calm when you put them together. I'm so glad I got the whole set. Really debated it because this is a good chunk of money. And they weren't signed. So I was like, eh. Yeah, and I missed out on the regular cassette. I didn't end up ordering that one, so I got that off of eBay, and I'm waiting for that to come in because I missed it on the original merch. Not happy about that, but, um, yeah, that's this video and my stress for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with some more cassettes. <laughs>